So let's take a look at how we would get an FBX out of Fusion 360. Before I go through that step though, one thing that I find helps me is if I change my document settings. Even though I have modeled this up using inches all along, I found that if I switch this over to meters before I do the FBX export, they come into InfoWorks just a little bit better. More so on the, when I import it as a style, but um, just as a precaution, it probably is helpful to set these and just save it real quick before we go to export. So I'm gonna do that with my bus stop and also with my bench. I'm gonna change the document settings here, change it to meter. And that just saves us some scaling issues when we try to use it as a style. All right, so now let's get to where we get the FBX out. So if I expose my data panel, I see where I have my file saved. This line item at the top is the project I have them saved in, but also links me back to an A360 website where that information is stored. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So here I'm at, I'm at the website. I can download these as an FBX in one of two ways. So I'll show you each one. So here for the bench, I can hit this little download or export. It's gonna say what file format you want, and I'll say FBX. It's gonna tell me, it's gonna send me a link within seven days that, that is uh, valid, or it's gonna be valid for seven days, but I'll get it in just a matter of moments. Say okay. The other method is if I click on this, it'll open it up in a viewer, and or at least uh, some information about it where I can even then go and view the file here again, and I get the exact same export or download. So export FBX, and I'll get the exact same message about the email. So after about five or 10 minutes, you'll get an email that looks like this, stating that you can download the file. Just click on the download file and you'll have it, you can store it to your local machine and then later bring that into InfraWorks.